All right, welcome to the third video of my Heart of Thorns expansion, uh, Meta Refresh series, and featuring the Tango Devs. Now, from my understanding, is that this map is quite complex to navigate, and by that, I implies on the fact that many of you out there um, still struggle uh, with the way of uh, getting around inside the map itself. And so, just to help you with that, I am going to feature. Uh, the first couple of minutes of this video uh, to be uh, you know getting you to some of the main outputs for you just so that you know um, so you, you so you can do the pre meta events and speaking from my personal experience that doing the pre meta events will help you a lot in terms of knowing the uh, the way of this map like you know how does it, how does it work but uh, there are shortcuts for you to be getting around so in the first video I mean I'm sorry not in the first video but uh, in this video as you can see at the moment that I'm trying to get into the ogre camp and uh, after getting into the ogre camp then I will be going into the central of the map where the meta event will take place and so to be able to get into that now uh, it's very easy um, you just have to you know go out of the ogre camp and then draw down onto the onto uh, the second level of the map itself and so once you get into the second level of the map it will it will push you down into the um, the ground level. I mean, like, sorry, not the ground level, but it's more like an underground. Um, once you get into the underground, this is where the um, uh, how should I put it? This is where the ancient people of Asura used to be living. It's called the Ratanovas and the Ratanovas community. Um, so and the um, the place that will uh the place that will that you'll be fighting in, uh, for the meta event will take place in the ley line confluence and in the ley line confluence back in the day it was one of the district um you know like you know in the Ratasam you have different districts uh, and then you have in the central you know central city of Ratasam it's similar to this one uh, you know Ratanova is the central city of the Ratanovas um, of the ancient Asura people and um, according to the Asura they call this this is the legendary lost city of Ratanovas and um, if you do the event, if you do the pre-meta event um, in this map for the Radanova's waypoint, uh, sorry, not a waypoint, but more like a camp, Radanova's camp, um, the the last record record of this Radanova is was dated back in 150, roughly about 152 years ago. So um, that's I, I find that's quite interesting, and so uh, you know, uh, just give me a little bit more understanding about the. Um, the unique structure of itself and also like where does it come from because like we still don't know a lot about this region uh even if even if you has complete if you if you complete the story if you have completed the story there are still a lot of things that you know like we we still haven't uh discovered yet and i'm quite interested in uh, knowing that uh, the story in a little more in depth um when the next season coming out uh season three uh start living story and so yeah i mean like that that uh, i mean like that just some some other things that i find it fascinating uh, about this uh the whole architect of this uh the the, the structure of the dratanova Dr itself but um in terms of the in terms of the event itself uh, the pre meta events will be similar to what you have already been doing i assume that like, by the time that you get into the tango devs you probably like will be doing like some of the pre meta events in the other cup in the other maps like in the auric basins or also in the in the verdant brink so i'm not going to be mentioning um the meta events in this map because it's quite long and um similar to the other other pre meta events in in the other maps it will take a while to finish and uh, putting all of that into this video would not be an ideal and also they they are linear as well so you just follow the NPC and you know um, you can do it on the go you you know you don't need to me to go in depth of each and every single one of them all right so um, yeah so the light light confluence will be the waypoint for you to be doing the um, uh, the meta event and there will be um, there are actually there are four camps for you to um, participate in the pre-meta events the ogre camp sorry the ogre camp and the scar camp 
the Rather Nova's camp and the last one which is a new hawk so you know uh, as I mentioned earlier like uh, in a couple of minutes of this videos uh, will be dedicated into like showing you how to get into like, um, the waypoints of those camps um, and I find that this this is one of my ways of doing uh, you know to, well not one my way of doing but more like the way for me to show people on how to get into those like waypoints so by the time that they come into this map they they have the waypoints already and so it's just gonna make the um just gonna make it very easy for them to participate in the map itself uh so for the pre-meta event um yeah for the pre-meta events and so having these waypoints would help you a lot um and so i would highly recommend for you know for the people that who are completely new to the map itself to be getting all of these waypoints first before you uh, starting to participate in the pre-meta event just so that you can get an idea on um, on the way uh, just a little bit of you know on the uh, the way of the map and also like you know where to navigate into between the map itself um, and having having said that like having the uh, waypoints also have in regard to you know doing any other achievements as well um, for you for those of you who are interested in doing that because there are going to be a lot of um, mini games in this map just similar to the other mini games in the in the previous map as well so you can participate in those uh, to get your your mastery point now uh, what when the you know why the video is um, showing you the event I'm, I'm sorry the way to get through the map i'll be just briefly briefly talking about the um the mastery points so for the in regard to the mastery points if you are looking to do the achievement then i would highly recommend you to have the ley light gliding because the ley light gliding will, will give you the access to um all of the achievements in the um, in this map and that is for the um for the gliding uh, mastery point now for the itself law um Actually, you don't need to have, um, you know, you don't need to maximize your Excel law, but instead, uh, you might be considering having at least the Excel poison law to be able to participate in all of the achievements, um, events in this, in this map. And for the Exalted, you don't really need it because, like, you know, this map is not dedicated to the Exalted. The Exalted mastery points will only be tailored to the Oric Basin map. Um, but you know i mean like having that would be a would be a benefit for you too but i mean like it's not required for this map to have the exalted mastery um the last one which is the new hawk now the new hawk is i would highly recommend for you to have the new hawk wallows uh the reason for that is because the new hawk wallows um uh, will permit you to be uh taking the uh, new hawk uh sort of like the underground passage and you know like when you go to the new hawk wallows point uh, I, I usually call number it the, the New Hawk Wallow Point. So when you get into that, like you can sort of like take the underground passage to uh, teleport uh, to from one from one side of the map to the other. And sometimes it can be a very beneficial uh, to do some of the achievements and also to get around the map. So I would highly recommend you to have the New Hawk Wallow's uh, mastery point for this map. But uh, all the recommendations that I can have for you is to have the Andrenal Andrenal mushroom as well because like you can reset your skill uh but that will take you but that will require you to maximize your new hawk mastery so that pretty much it and um you know uh just get around the map get all of the waypoints and then uh, start participating in some of the pre-meta events because it will give you an idea about how how to navigate around this map and um i'll stop here for the uh for the pre-meta events and a little bit of background about the the, the map itself i will now move on to the meta event all right so for the introduction of the meta event uh, there will be four lands for you to participate in now it doesn't really matter which one that you pick if you want to have the achievement you have to do all of the lands um but uh in terms of difficulties and so um mastery requirement i would highly recommend for uh, um, new people um that doesn't have a lot of mastery levels and mastery points to be able to take part in i would highly recommend for you guys to be doing the scarland um either the scarland or the rather novice um so the four lands is one of the, um on your west is the ogre land uh 
on the northwest which is on the New Hockland. I would not recommend doing the New Hockland at all um, until you are comfortable with doing air yeah, doing the, the remaining lands then yes take part in the New Hockland because like in my personal opinion New Hockland is probably the hardest um, well, it's not the hardest, but in terms of the complexity of the land itself, this is the hardest one in my personal opinion. But you know, again, for some of you, uh, you might be comfortable. Uh, you might find you might find doing the um, New Hawk land it's actually easier than the rest of the other lands. But in that in that case, then you know, just feel free to do whatever you want. Um, I just merely give you uh, my personal opinion on which land I, I think it should be a good idea for you to be doing. Um, so in my personal opinion, um, please don't do the New Hawk land because like, you know, it's, it's quite complex. But um, if you feel comfortable with doing that one, feel free to do so. Um, the north one is the Indrata Novas and in your east, more like the northeast, is the Scarland. We don't have any lands from the Eastern Confluence Tunnel. So uh, the waypoint for uh, the meta event will be the Leylight -like Confluence and you know like this is where people gathering and you know deciding on which command attack will go into each land and so uh, just pick out your commander uh, that on the land that you want to do and then just go ahead and do it so again there's four lands in total Ogre, Nuhawk, Ratanovas and the Scar with the Scar being the easiest in my personal opinion uh, that anybody can do it and following it up by the Ratanovas the Ogre land and I will leave the last one um, until you know I will leave the last one for um, your attempt or for the last attempt because it can get a little bit complex so yes uh, and now I'm moving I'm going to move on to each um, each land in a in a little more detail so I'll be moving on to the Skyland. Now, in my personal opinion, Skyland is probably the easiest one to do. Now, if you are comfortable with doing any other lands, feel free to do so. I'm not saying that you know you know you have to stick with the Skyland first. But in my personal opinion, I just find it to be the easiest one to get a hold of the mechanic itself. I mean like the meta event mechanic itself, and so that it will um, give you an idea on how it works, and then so when you start doing any other lens you are more comfortable with it but if you if you believe that you can do any other lens feel free to stick with it you know just ignore my recommendation uh you know uh to to do the uh, scar land so yeah uh for this land itself there are three events two of those events will be exactly the same with any other lens so you can just uh use the same principle for these two events and to apply for any other lens uh, the first event will be tailored to that particular land only and so the reason for that is because we are like in the story we are trying to chart the laser cannon uh, ley light laser cannon or something like that I can't remember the exact name of that but let's just say that a ley en light energy sorry not ley light ley energy cannon yes just just call it that so we are trying to chart off the light energy cannon to be able to sh open up a path so they will shoot into the you know the middle of the wall to open up a path for the rest of the pack to get uh, the supplies and get the equipments and you know war equipments etc try to come to dragon stand that is where we'll be fighting with the elder dragon motor moth and that is precisely why we need to have the light energy cannon to be able to open up a path and so to be able to open up the path there will be four spots four locations for us to charge up and those four locations will be associated with each of the land of that we of what we are trying to do however because we are trying to charge up an enormous amount of energy to those lay energy cannon it will draw down the bugs inside this map and we call them the chalks the chalk yeah and so the chalk is not very happy with that uh, well it's not that they're happy but because they are also the um, they are also the ones that consuming the lay energy because that's part of their supplies and because we are trying to have an enormous amount of energy for us to shoot the lay energy cannon to open up a path that will attract all of the chucks to come to destroy that you know well not destroy it like they try to consume the light energy but like when they try to consume the light energy they will destroy our equipments 
and that is what we are trying to prevent them to do and yes that's basically what we are trying to do we're trying to like you know to prevent them from destroying our equipment while keeping our mechanics um alive uh our, and you know um our mechanics alive so that they can charge up the energy so for the skyland uh the first event is tailored to uh, i'll call it the the tailor event so the tailor event for the skyland will be will require you to defend the three um sorry not three yeah yeah, yeah so it's three sorry um sorry not three what am i talking about four yeah so for four charts trying a uh, four chart mechanics they are trying to set up a sonic energy uh to charge off the laser cannon and so we have to defend those char mechanics uh, from the charts and when doing so in your top right well not in top right corner but in your right right side of the map the the event will start telling you like oh so you have the time limit for the chart current to arriving into uh you know say like two minutes or something like that yeah one minute and one one minute and thirty seconds or something like that so it will tell you now the chart current is the second mechanic uh oh, sorry not the second mechanic but the second event that you need to do and this will be the same for every autumn lens so you can you can now, if you know about this chakra and mechanic, it, you can apply that for any other land. So, uh, so that's very easy. That's very straightforward. Uh, so for the third event, which is trying to stop any other chak, uh, smaller chak mobs from coming into the um, to the cannon cell and try and destroy it. So uh, those are easy. Uh, they just like go in a group, and then you just have to use a lot of AOE effect, and that will kill that. And so. That those that that's the only thing that you need to worry about the third event mechanic. Um, now I'm just I'm just gonna go into a little more in depth for the second mechanic because that's what a lot of people. Uh, I'm not saying that that they screw up, but there are a lot of uh, people out there. Even even you know like after three months, uh, there's still a lot of people that they fail a map because uh, they didn't understand the mechanic behind that uh, the chuck current event but to be perfectly honest with you the chuck current mechanic event is not really that difficult and i'll be getting into this um uh, so just you know just to give you an idea the chuck current mechanic is very very easy and by that i imply on the fact that you need to reduce the help point of the chuck gun to a certain level before it reaches the laser cannon if it reaches the laser cannon then it will be a fail even the fail meta event and so how do you reduce it well you sort of uh well not sort of uh this is the fact that you have three phases before it reaches the uh, laser cannon uh when the chuck gun pops up you will have two minutes and 50 seconds to be able to reduce it down to at least one third of a health point. That, that is what I would highly recommend the group in each of the land trying to reduce that uh, to that, that level. At least one third of the uh, one third of the health bar in each of the phase. If you reduce it uh, lower than that, then you have to ask for help or any other, um, or you just have to, um, try harder to reduce it down to that level on you know at one at least one third of the bar uh, the bar otherwise if you reduce it lower than if you if you cannot achieve to that level then it will be very difficult uh, for you uh, later on because like, you're gonna put too much pressure inside the team to be able to reduce uh, to kill it in the last phase and so i would highly recommend a lot uh, the, for the people in each of the land in each of the land to reduce it down to the third level uh, one third of the level of the back of the hell point back um, and so yeah now you have two and a half two two minutes and 50 seconds um, that's that's a time limit for each of the phase and then after that it will go away you know it will, well not go away but it will start going back to the underground and then uh, you rotate with the first and the second events again i'm sorry not this first but the but the first and the third events which is like uh, the tailor event for that particular land and also for the uh stopping the charts from coming into the cannons and so yeah that that's just what uh, just that's just the overview what you are trying to do now 
how do you reduce the part the the help points by effectively now there's several ways that you can do it um well not several way but uh it depending on the class uh so understanding your class is the key and um what I'm trying to refer to is the ability to crowd control. Now, crowd control in my personal, in, in my definition, that's already explained in an Auric Basin, is to control the mobs in regard to slow, stun, and uh, immobilize, and also try to knock them back. And, you know, just try anything that you can to be able to, uh, you know, interrupt. It's, it's crowd control. It's like an interrupt ability, right? And so when you when you use any interruptions, uh, skills or spells or any actions that you take like as an interrupt uh, that has the interrupt mechanic inside it, what it will do, it will break the bag for the bar for the, um, for the chuck guarant. And... When it reduced down to a certain level, then the chalk current will be weakened uh, to your attack, and so like you can deal a pure damage to the chalk current. That's how I that's how I will put it. You can deal a much better damage to the chalk current after the crowd control bag of the the bag of the um, uh, chalk current is broken. That's how that's how I that's how I would put it in a simple term, and so uh, if you have like understanding your class is the key. So for example, I have my dragon hunter in this video, and what I usually do for crowd control is to use my F one key, which is the spear of uh, you know the chain spear that I can pull the mobs coming closer to me, and also my ultimate skill, which is uh, you know like pull the mobs in and then also stun them. In my fifth skill, which uh, in my bow, a uh, longbow fifth skill, I also have the immobilize effect that can uh, immobilize the mobs. But in the chuck guarant, it won't immobilize the chuck guarant, uh, the boss itself. But what it will do is to break the crowd control bag of the chuck guarant. And uh, for the warrior, I I I actually I, I quite like the warrior um, because it has a lot of crowd control skill in terms of stun. Uh, re, uh, knock back and also days and um, you know days uh, days stun and uh, knock back and etc so like the warrior has a lot of that and so like if you if you are a warrior then you can use a lot of uh, then you can use all of those skills to to um, prevent the uh, I mean like uh, to break the you know the the, the crowd control bag of the chakra and or sometimes I could I prefer to call it the CC or the CC bag or break bag for the chakra and and so that's pretty much on, on what you need to know about how to deal the damage to the chakra and faster and uh, yeah you know deal faster and better and uh, the other other things that you should be um, you should be aware of with the chakra is that um, there will be a donut uh, on the ground. Now, this is not exactly a donut, but it has the donut shape figure. And so, what that donut will do is that uh, well, it's it's sort of, it's sort of similar to a lay energy of the crystallized uh, like circle that has a hole in the middle. So that's why I usually prefer to call it a donut for short because it's easier for me to tap it to tap it in the map so that people are aware of uh, and they avoid that donut will one hit you. Well, sorry, not one hit. One hit is a little bit exaggerated. One hit will, will it will dow you, and then another hit it will kill you, and so like give it two to three hits to like instantly kill you. So I would highly recommend for the people inside the map to stay away from the donut, and usually a lot of people will be started calling on you know uh, donut. That means like you have to look on the ground and try to avoid from that donut. Um, aside from that, there will be a lot of AOE effects. So um, please turn on your AOE options, uh, AOE red circle option inside your your options settings so that you can see the AOE on the ground and try to dodge it, and um, and try to you know also try to dodge its attacks as well because like it's attack in front of it. So if you try to dodge it on the side way, you can reduce the damage or try to dodge it at the back so you can start dealing damage from him for the back. It, that works also. So those common attacks and common mechanics, I will not be commenting further because like chances are you'll be doing a lot of them in uh, before you coming to Heart of Thorns anyway. And so that pretty much it for the Scarland. Yeah, so. I think I have covered the the first Taylor 
uh, tailor a mechanic event of the Scarland, and I cover the second one, which is for the Chakra and Boss, and I think I cover the um, the um, the uh, stopping the Chaks from destroying the um, the the light energy cannon as well. So yeah, that's pretty much pretty much it for the Scarland. Now I'll be moving on to the Ratanovas, and uh, for the Ratanovas, I'll be just purely talking about the uh, Taylor events because the Chakarant event mechanic and the stopping the Chaks from destroying the cannon will be exactly the same. So I'm not gonna be covering those again, but I will just uh, be speaking of the. Uh, I will ju I'll be just covering the um, the the Taylor event for the Ratanovas and for other lands as well. So yeah, I will just stop here and I'll be moving on to the Ratanovas land. Alright, so uh, for the Rather Novels, as I've already mentioned to you, I will not be covering for the second or third event, uh, I, and I will just be covering the first Taylor event. And so what you need to do is to, um, you know, well, there, there is a golem, that the, the, there will be a big golem that can assist you in the fight with the Chuck Boss, uh, Chuck Gant. And so what you, need to, what you need to do for that golem is that um, there are some some columns uh some pillars uh, reactors around and then you can and and for those reactors uh, you have the access to uh take out some of the lay energy batteries um that's what i call it uh, you know um to put into the golem now when you put into the golem it will increase to the level of the golem and the higher level of the golem the more power that the golem will deal um well it's not the power that the golem will deal but in a sense yeah but um it will increase the overall power of the golem in terms of defense and in terms of attacks. So in the sense, like when you increase it, the, the power level of the golem, the more damage it would do to the chuck boss guarant. And that's exactly what you are trying to do. Now, when you uh, uh, when you destroy the reactors, it will release a couple of lay, lay energies, uh, batteries. Now, um, you have the option to deliver to the golem or you can throw it into the golem. Now, I'm not recommend people to be throwing it into the golem. The reason for that is because when you start throwing it into the golem, it will not give you, it will not give a lot of power to the golem. So in a sense, it is not as effective as when you give it to the golem, when you insert the light energy batteries inside the golem yourself. Um, and so when you yeah when you enter the um, when you put the light energy battery inside a golem it will increase more than you just throw it at a golem. So uh, just try to get the uh, the power level of the golem as high as you can. Um, I understand that uh, I understand that you know um, you cannot get it um, you know to the level of you um, of what you desire so like uh, a couple of times in a couple of maps that i have been participating the um, the commander he tried so hard to get into level five but uh, but so far it has been unsuccessful because uh you know a lot of people they start throwing the um the lay energies uh, the lay energy batteries inside the golem instead of delivering to it and also another uh, other factors like uh, you know they being disrupt uh, disrupt by the um, by the chuck minions and so because of that they are not a uh, you know the group that most of the groups I've been with there we are we were unable to um, to get it up to level five and I think that the uh, the maximum that I can get to well the max level that I that I got to um, it was level four and that was about it uh, but usually you get into like between level two and level four, uh, level three but i high i would highly recommend you to try and get into level three because like in level three it can deal more damage than level two so yeah that's just the um the mechanic of this event that you're trying to uh increase the power level of the golem to um uh, as high as you can so that it can deal extra damage to the chakra and boss and in regard to the um, the boss mechanic itself and also to the um, to the chuck minions that are trying to destroy our lay energies uh, I already covered that in the um, in a couple of minutes ago of this video so I will not be mentioning this again so if you want to know more uh, if you want to know about that because like you know uh, I don't know if you skip if you keep that uh, if you skip that part or not but if you do skip about just please go back to a couple of minutes um, from now I think it's about like two three 
I, I, I honestly like I haven't like at the time of me voicing this I haven't had a look at um, where was it so uh, for that I will be putting up down in the well I will put down in the description on where the chat get and boss mechanic so you you guys can have a look at it and so yeah that's pretty much for this uh, for for the mechanic of this um, Rata Nova's land and I will be moving on to the New Hawk land Alright, so for the New Hawkland, this is a little bit interesting. Now, in my in, in my personal opinion, this is probably the hardest one in terms of getting people to collaborate and coordinate effectively and efficiently. Um, by that, I imply on the fact that people have to spread out evenly to be able to participate in, in the event eff effectively. And the if the first event itself, um, the tailor to this New Hawkland, <coughs> is to have people in this uh, who are participating in this event to spread out evenly and for each of those uh, indiv uh, for each of those individuals uh, they need to be able to st uh, stand on top of the, the head of the mushroom and what uh, and their responsibility is to storm on the nodules uh, that is spawning on top of the, mo the mushroom head and why is that well in the, in the event of this, uh, in the story and in the events of this land, is that we are trying to, um, uh, well, I, I already mentioned it earlier, but I'm, I think it's a good idea for me to talk um, about that again because it will, um, it will form, it will give you an idea on why this this land is linked to the other lands. Um, it's just that we trying to prevent the sharks from destroying our late energy cannons to open up a path to uh, the dragon sand which is where the elder dragon is is uh, resides and to be able to do that for this land there's a lot of nodules that are standing on top of the mushrooms uh, and when you storm on that mushroom there will be a lot of fungus uh, uh, fungal fungal spores that spawning out uh, out of that mushrooms and they are vicious they look they look like um yeah, they, they look like, you know, they're really easy to kill, but they are, they are quite vicious as well. And so uh, they're easy to kill, but they're vicious. So just be careful with a, a couple of AOE. So I would highly recommend you for you to be looking at on, the, um, on the ground uh, to look uh, for any red AOE circle and try to, to avoid that one. Now, if you kill all of the fungus, uh, I mean, the, the, higher, the higher fungus that you, are, uh, that you have killed, um, the more level that we can get into the um into the um the um the level uh, the, the level of the event itself and what it will do is that it can control the minds of the smaller chucks so i would call it the um the, the minority chucks so like those those smaller ones those little ones that you see that you you know uh, usually they are our enemies but because the fungus um has the effect of my control for those smaller chucks and that will help us a lot in terms of uh, the second event, which is participating in the fight with the Chuck Garen boss, and that's what, what that precisely what we are trying to achieve. We are trying to kill as many fungus spores as possible, and that will give us the access to reduce the strength of the Chuck Garen boss. But not only that, we are not only reducing the strength, but we also reduce, um, but we also increase. Um, the weakness level of the chakra and so that is is more easy for us to do extra damage for the chakra and boss because you know it's weakened and on top of that we are uh, we can you know we can apply our mind control effect on uh, the smaller chak minions so that they can start participating in a fight against the chakra and boss and that's precisely what we are trying to achieve in this fight and as always, um, uh, I already sorry, not as always, but yeah, I, I already mentioned uh, about the second and the third mechanics in um, a few minutes ago, so I will not be covering that again. So um, that pretty much what you are trying to do for this New Hawk land, um, aside from second and the third event, which I already mentioned, is that you're trying to spread out evenly. I understand that it is the commander job to tell people to spread out evenly and allocate uh, the job uh, and allocate uh, each individual to be 
it spread out evenly and do the event effectively. But the commander is only one man. It requires a group effort to be able to participate in, in this event and that precisely why um, this event can be a little bit of, um, can be challenging. It can be a little bit challenging sometimes. Uh, it's just because like, you know, people are not spreading out evenly or because they are just unsure on what to do. So if you can sort out the, um, the if you can sort out that problem and uh, make the team to collaborate and cooperate effectively then it will, this event is really, really easy. All right, so that pretty much it for this uh, New Hawk land. I'll be moving on to the Ogre land. All right, so for the Ogre land, now the Ogre land is the last one, which um, in this video is the last one anyway, but you have the option to pick which one you wanna do um, for you. Um, anyway, so for the Ogre land, the mechanic is, uh, the first mechanic anyway, and as as I mentioned uh, earlier in this video, not covering the, um, the um the second and the third events for Jack and Boss and Jack minions for destroying the cannon. So uh, yeah, uh for the first uh events are tailored into the ogre land. What you need to do is to destroy the Jack eggs. Um, in the story of this land, well, in the story of the um of this map anyway, what we are trying to achieve is um. I feel like I'm repeating this again, but anyway, so it doesn't hurt to repeat it again, right? Uh, we're trying to. In, uh, we're trying to bulk up the level of uh, the uh, the light energy level for our cannon so that it can open up a path to a path to um, the dragon stand um, where the dragon where the elder dragon motor mod resides. And for this land, it is the first event is to destroy as many chalk eggs as possible. Now, when you destroy the chalk eggs, like um, because they are not. Um, how should I put it? They're not vulnerable to any effects of condition damage. So condition damage would not be that effective to destroy the chalk. And instead, any draw damage, I mean, I'm talking about a physical damage, like any draw and hard, like hit it, hit it with a, you know, hit it with your hands, like in the face, punch it in the face. Yeah, that's sort of damage, like physical damage, direct damage the right way. And those are more favorable for the, um, for the, um, you know, to, to destroy the chalk eggs because they are not, um, they're not vulnerable to the uh, condition damage. So that's what you are trying to achieve. You try, you are trying to kill as many, uh, well, you're trying to destroy as many chalk eggs as possible. And why is that? Well, when you try to, uh, when you destroy as many eggs as possible, it, what it will do is that it will increase um, the, well, it's not increase, it will start weakening the chalk defense and uh, the chuck and boss defense and that will make our damage against the chuck garen tiger and that's what what we are trying to do it's similar to the no hawk land you know uh you are trying to uh in the new hawk land you're trying to um destroy as many spore like fungus fungus spores as uh, as as many of them as possible to like weaken the uh, the chuck garen same principle for this land. You are trying to destroy as many eggs as possible. But the only key difference between this uh, this land and the previous land is that the previous land, uh, the fungus spores are, you know, you can deal condition damage to them. However, uh, the same principle won't be applied for this land because they, you know, they are not in effect of any condition damage. And because of that, direct damage to to those eggs are more um are more favorable uh, compared to the um condition damage so that so please keep that into uh so so please keep that in in your mind when you start doing this event like um i understand that a lot of condition damage build at the time of me filming this um you know the warrior if you're running the warrior burn burn zerker uh burn condition damage with a torch uh you might consider having a uh, a great sword or maybe an axe in your offhand to be able to deal a uh, damage to um what do you call it i'm um, sorry uh, yeah uh, i just i just played for one second yeah uh, to to kill those eggs didn't sorry to destroy those eggs and uh at, in in this video right i mean i'm i'm using the dragon hunter and my dragon hunter is probably not a good 
idea for this one because my dragon hunter i set up a traps uh, i set up traps and my traps are not going to trigger until a mob is stepping on top of it and so it can sometimes it can be very difficult for me to use my traps to deal damage to those chuck eggs so um, what i usually do uh, is that i usually have a hammer or a great sword with me or a sword so a sword a great uh, a sword a hammer or maybe a great sword would be uh, more uh, more ideal than having a longbow because you know longbow damage is not that great uh, uh, against the jack eggs uh, so yeah please um, have a weapon that you can deal direct damage to those jack eggs when you're participating when you are going to participate in this land um, so aside from that there's nothing um, you know there's nothing fancy about this land at all uh, aside from the fact that I already um, already mentioned to you about the second and the third event is that uh, you know uh, about the chuck guns boss mechanic and also the chuck minions that's trying to destroy the um, the lay um, cannon energy so I'll be I'll, I'll not be covering those again and uh, that pretty much it for the um, for the meta event in uh, Tango Depths now please, please keep that in mind that there are several versions of the Tango Death meta uh, videos out there on YouTube. The reason for that is because uh, ArenaNet has made a fix for the mechanic of the Chuck Guns. And the previous mechanic was, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 was, it wasn't that difficult, uh, but it was harder than this. And for some reason, they make it a little bit easier. I didn't know i don't know the the um the whole story about it because uh when i was doing it a couple of weeks ago i was like the, it was it was a little bit more difficult but um the, the mechanic back then is not the same with the mechanic right now so the mechanic that i'm, uh, that I'm telling you right now is um in the second week of january at the time of me filming this at the time of me recording and voicing over for this meta refresh video is in the second week of January and so um, the mechanic that I'm telling to you is um, you know January middle middle of the week of the January 2016 so if you if you watch for the uh, if you watch any videos uh, on YouTube that is a couple of months ago about two two months ago then the mechanic will be different so I'm just gonna put it out here so for those of you who you know you you done the um, you done the Tango Devs event a uh, few months ago and then you you was wondering you probably wondering like why is that so easy and I didn't cover a lot of stuff that um, that Arianet nerf the um this the meta event in mechanic meta event in the tango devs is that the reason why um that that is the reason why yeah because like they make a fix and so i'm just talking about the new mechanics i'm not talking about the old one and so like for those of you who are wondering why is that so easy and why is it that i don't cover any um any other stuff like you know how many people in the land uh in each land and how many people um doing that it because they they fix it uh, back might as well just tell you now is that back then the recommend the recommended um, number of people having on each land is 15 maximum of 15 no more than that uh, it's because like if you if you put more people in the land chances are it will increase the strength and it's also increase the health of the jack and boss and that's not very good because it will just make it so much harder for us to kill and that precisely why um the like back then the commander is very very fussy about the number of the people in the land but that is not is the same case anymore because i have been like recently when i came back i participated in a couple of them well not couple it's like about like 10 of them already 10 15 of them already uh, ever since i got back and i was just wondering like why is there so so many people in one land so, like at one time we're shooting up to like 17 or 18 and then like the commander is not that fussy about that anymore and also like the cc break bar mechanics like he's not fussy about that you know when when to break the break the cc bar and when to activate the sun kill like you know the commanders are very chill and i'm like 
I was just wondering what was the what was the problem, and then I look it up and, it, and yeah, like they nerf it. Uh, Ariane nerf the mechanics uh, in um, Tango Death just to make it easier. Uh, the meta event just to make the meta event easier for uh, the people to complete. And so you know, uh, just putting it up there for those of you who are interested in knowing why uh, my video is a little bit different compared to all the videos uh, that are on YouTube. And so that pretty much it. And um, I hope you uh, get some good loot from this and um, yeah like um, after you completing this there there will be a lot of loot that lying around for you to to take um, and hopefully it can it can give you some sort of um, good materials rare materials there so that you can contribute toward to your maybe legendaries if you are if you are doing that or uh, any any other ascenders or any other item that you are you are crafting or uh, you're pursuing then um, uh, to get then yeah I hope that works out for you so anyway um, enjoy have fun and uh, I will see you in my final video for the dragon stand